Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Massa with the crew. How's it going, guys? Hello, not too bad. Thanks for asking me. How about yourself? Doing well. I'm just going to call you the crew because it's easier for me. We're, we're just crew to you now? Yes. Too, too many not... names. A whole three of them. Just the crew? Yeah. I what couldn't remember all your names after all that confusion you know, in the last episode about <laughs> what, what letter my name starts with. I just couldn't remember. It's just yep. too much. It comes with age. Yeah. So plastic is the issue right now for blue science. Right, okay. I have set up... I, I, I can't believe that we didn't already have this, but I've set up production of repair packs, so now our construction robots are actually going to get out there and repair things that they can... Hey! Oh, look nice. at them. They're so excited. I'm going to try and be nice about this while also changing what you've done. Ah, oh, that's fine. But I'll have a look at what you change. It's nothing major. It's just... A uh, little OCD thing. Mm -hmm. I like the colour of this train. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that works. Hope you don't mind. The whole thing. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't make an awful lot of difference due to the speed that we'll be making stuff, but. Hop. There we go. We need stacking Oh, and yeah, we can this. start doing. Passive providers now and actually getting logistics yeah. connections and things. Exactly. In fact, we should probably set up a um, a oh, manufacturer for passive boxes. providers at very least. Yeah. I'm going to go and work on the cracking though, because I think it's going to help us a lot. Since we're not really using the light oil, so at the moment yeah. that just stops everything. Well, I'll yeah. sort um, chest production then. Radio. Usually by this point, I'm making um, solid fuel out of the light oil, but... Really? Uh, you yeah, would use yeah. your light oil for solid fuel? Oh my gosh. I yeah. think light oil is the most efficient thing to make solid fuel out of. It is, but you can also make petroleum out of light oil, which is far, far more useful. It depends on how much you're bringing in. Well, the stuff that needs solid fuel. In it for rockets. True, rockets? but... Arimba doesn't know rockets. Yeah, but like you need the infrastructure for batteries and lasers. Let's be honest, Rumba doesn't know mo most of the end game because he just restarts. <laughs> I do. It's a truth. It's a truth that everyone has come to accept. We have stack inserters being made anywhere. Uh, oh my god. Uh, probably not. What are you being on that for, Stijo? <laughs> I'm just asking if there's somewhere making stack inserters. You can make some. Well, I need to make sure they're not already being made before I make some. There is I mean, I'm, not, I'm not going to, but... <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's exactly why I said, oh God. I love your honesty. Like, I'm not going to do it myself. <laughs> I'm not a plebeian. Or plebeian. <laughs> I always want to say plebeian, but uh, it's meant to be plebeian. Is it? Is it really? You, I would have assumed it would be plebeian. I've been told that I've been saying it wrong, so I'm like, oh, okay. I, as far as I was aware, it was plebeian. Yeah, I, I always thought it was, but they were very confident that they were right. I was like, oh, oh okay. they, were they on the internet? Of course they were confident. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> um... How to pronounce. Yeah, that's how it's done. You're totally wrong. Totally wrong. I mean, it's, not, it's not like I'm not regularly wrong about things. I'm, I'm not going to claim I'm an authority on this matter. What? I know, I know. It's hard to imagine that I could actually be wrong on something, but it is true. Occasionally. Oh, poop. Uh, you're gonna make this complicated, aren't you, game? Of course you are. Wow, that's a lot of fast inserters in that box. <laughs> oh, is it not two, properly limited? Two stacks each is not that bad, to be fair. No, it was, it was limited, it was just limited pretty high. Oh, well, we have four players, right? Yeah. Gotta multiply most things by four. I'm loving this new button, by the way. Although it scares the crap out of me. You can, you can have your... Foreman blueprints, you can upgrade them. Remember we talked about that, Cito, by clicking the delete yeah, yeah. button with a blueprint in here? Yeah. Scares me, though, because I'm afraid I'm actually going to delete it, you know? 
That would be quite bad, yes. We would probably never forgive you. You would be exiled. I'm aware. Are you doing the uh, the big solar thing? No. Um, in fact, I'm almost done, and then I'll I'll show you guys this thing. So. Oh. Soon, just not yet. Oh yeah, you're doing your solar whatever the thing was you were talking to Avak that I didn't listen. Yeah, that's the thing. Yep, but it's yep. almost done. Not yet. I'm guessing we require oil. It's a fair assumption. I like a different game with this guy. Well, I didn't know if it was still the case. I knew it was the case before, but <laughs> for all I know, someone had set up some new oil stuff. I will they go make an oil train. It is very sad, but it is also true, and we must learn to accept it. Are we really low on crude? I, I highly doubt it. We had so much crude in storage. Um, See? He doesn't know either. No, we've got a load of crude. Exactly. It's got ridiculous amounts of crude. Remember, so the light oil was oil backed then. up. No, we don't. We need more processing. We were I mean, backed up on processing for a while because light oil was capped out on the tanks. I mean, mm -hmm. telling me I'm out of the loop. <laughs> okay. But it's so easy, you just believe it. You are out of the loop. How can you expect us not to abuse this kind of power? The Drive fuck is wrong with me? Driving a car is hard. It is hard, that's why there's a test for it. That's why this one doesn't have uh, gears, it just has one gear that can do a stupid range of speeds. Well, you're saying that, there's a lot of motorbikes that you can go, like, not to 70 in first gear. They're just geared that long. So it's not out of the question. It's like the, the NASCAR cars, where they can barely start because they've only got four gears and they're all for like more than a hundred miles an hour. NASCAR is one of the most... Oh my god, I'm going to piss off so many Americans with this <laughs> one. NASCAR is one of the most boring motorsports I've ever watched in my life. Yep, that is right. You've just lost like most of your subs. Yep. You're going to have to turn in the keys to your YouTube account now, Steve Joe. Yep. That's alright, you can have them. You, you've abused the trust that you were given by YouTube. <sighs> um, I'm going to go with 50 passive providers in the system, because, because I don't think mad. we're going to need that many. Mad! And then 100 um, storage chests. Okay. No doubt a Rimba will come over and make it like a million storage chests and one passive provider. Why not, eh? I'll just do what makes sense, yes. That makes sense to you? I don't know, I'm just talking. Saying words. <laughs> the words! They flow so easily. You know what's nice? I remember will probably agree with me here. The extra range on Bob's medium purple so they actually reach across an assumption. They reach across a what? You cut out. An assembly machine. Um, it is nice. Look at the solar. Look at the solar setup that I did to, to produce the solar. That's and just how I handle it. Assembly machine. Oh, you mean the, uh, oh, like going underneath? No, just go See, look at the way I, that the yeah, solar grid yeah, works. No, that, yeah. that is, that's how you do it in vanilla. Them side by side. I don't like yeah. it though. But it looks great and it works it, perfectly. They have perfect coverage for power. It looks great to you. It looks great in general. Just do it that way. I haven't been down to this part of the factory yet. I'm gonna go look. This is what now? The power? Your, no, your, your power's parts. my baby. No, no I'm, I'm just gonna marvel at it. I'm not gonna no, do anything no. to it. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Go ahead. It's done. It's it's done-ish. It's not quite the right Holy ratio. Crap. I need uh. With this setup, I need. This I is need insane. There's so many things. Is it's 2,805. No, it's way overkill. I need 2,805 solar panels set up, and we only have 640 right now. I can't even reach the solar panels. The steam engines are in the way. No, you can walk through it. We've got. Oh right, speak. of course. Okay. Oh man, I'm I'm still in the habit of 
building pipes with underground just to allow me to move between pipes, even when there's no distance between them. Yeah. And I don't need to do that anymore. Oh, that's going to be a hard habit to break out of. All right, I'm confused as to what's happening. but So this is not my idea. I didn't come up with this, but I, I was reading about it on Reddit and then also on the subform. Yeah. So you're, sto you're storing a load of We're storing water, hot water as our boiler, as our, our yeah. accumulator. So the boilers run all day. Okay. They, they run 24 hours a day. And uh, the ratio is set up such that the steam engines are providing 30% of the power while the solar is providing 70% of the power. And so what that ends up doing is it changes the ratio from 1 to 14 to 10 to 1 to 14 to 33. So uh -huh. you'll notice that each one of these columns is 33 steam engines long. Okay. And the reason why the tanks are spaced the way that they are is due to the weird wonky fluid mechanics in Factorio. Yep. In that uh, if you do it differently, it doesn't properly work. So yeah. the steam engines only fire when needed. They heat the water up. The water sits at 100 degrees in the tanks. And at night, when solar is completely off, this setup, you, you power it in such a way that the entire factory can be powered based off pure solar or based on pure steam. And, uh, and then that way, you never have to use accumulators. Okay. But you're still beating all of the benefit of solar. And it gives you something to actually spend your coal on. Because coal's well, coal you're coal. not really getting all the benefit of solar. Sure you are. Well, no, because uh, you're using steam, which is creating pollution, which is... So what? Are you issues. getting all, all the, the benefits of each of your individual solar panels? That's what I said. You're getting all the benefits of your solar. You're not getting the benefits of cumulative. I didn't say that, did I? No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I thought you were meaning solar as in solar, the concept. Not nope. like the individual solar panels. No, nope. but the primary advantage to this is that if you were to try to, like, let's say that we actually built it out to the full full capacity. If I actually had all twenty eight hundred solar panels up to complement the the boilers, then we would be capable of running a factory. Um, uh, two thousand eight hundred times forty two. That would be a one hundred and seventeen point eight megawatt factory, um, with the current size. If you were to try to generate enough accumulators to store the energy, um, what's the ratio for accumulators to solar again? It's like 21 to 25, I think, or but I can't remember which order. Can't remember. Is it more accumulators or more solar panels that you need? You know? Damn it, you can make me look it up. That is exactly his plan, yes. What a scoundrel. <laughs> okay. The correct ratio is 21 accumulators to 25 solar panels. So we would need 21 divided by 25 times the 2,805 solar. We need 2,356 accumulators. What logistic requests are going off right now? Ah, okay. M many from me. I. So that's 11,781 batteries. Each battery is two sulfuric acid. And what is the conversion from petroleum to sulfur? Three petroleum becomes two sulfur. And sulfur is turned into sulfuric acid at a ratio of one to one. So it's 50% more. So this, the accumulators requisite to comp, like to actually function with this current size system, you would need uh, 17,671 petroleum to build them. And in, by doing this, instead of doing that, you just you just spend a little bit of iron to add some boilers. Like you don't even need to make more boilers or more pumps. You just add steam engines. Yeah. Which are easy and cheap. It's just pure iron. You can make them in your pocket in no time at all. And you save. In this case, 18,000 petroleum. It's a lot. All right. I don't know who put down the uh, the passive providers for everything, but... Don't know I what you're talking put about. Put down some... Uh... Oh, my God. I should have fucking known. <laughs> what now? You especially could, because you could have just moused over them and seen. Well, I wasn't one to call anyone out, but you just called yourself out. <laughs> I need to do your, you need to do your filters. 
<laughs> so that I stuff's just, intelligent? I don't care. I just want them to deliver me the things I need. I know you don't care. <laughs> but if they're That's what you're telling me. As, as when we've got like that is actually a really solidly good point though. It's like if you know I don't care, why are you trying to tell me? I don't <laughs> care. Well played, Bentham. There we go. Right. Well, um, I've set up the Kraken. I've got four. Well, it's um, the Kraken. Factories, four chemical plants working on each. Though, because of the way that we've effectively increased the amount of uh, storage we have for things over time, because we were running out of room, yeah, it's it's going to be very wonky. This system works a lot better if everything is uh, running as a one and at the same sort of uh, storage capacity. There we go. Ah, right. Yeah, we've got 16k uh, light oil, 5.5k heavy oil, so the heavy isn't being cracked. And around about 300 petroleum gas. <laughs> the light oil is being cracked into it, but I've got a funny feeling we're probably going to want to increase the speed that we're doing You've that You've got a funny feeling. Gonna require moving things around, annoying me. I'll make at least another two camera plants. I think this is what we need. Oh. You need to be below. All the rest of you up here. It's panning solar. Sorting out the logistics network. I'm gonna make some concrete. Ooh. I like concrete. I'm gonna make some concrete. Do, 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 do. You're in a very musical mood today, Steve. I'm in a what? Very musical mood. Yeah. Um. Um, what? I'm trying to um, work the shit out. And how's Good. That going for you? I approve. Do it. Work the shit out, CJ. Yeah. Um, yeah. Doing it. Circuit network. So how come we're not blasting through science? What's what's going on? We still have no real blue. Last I saw, the blue wasn't too great. Yeah. Is it advanced circuits or something? Mm, I guess it is. It's just still a lack of uh, cracking of oil, because we've got tons of crude. Yep. Hmm. Ah, damn it. Rumba. Yes? Set up the water and the oil in the wrong order for the advanced oil processing. Sorry, I can never remember what the right order is for those. Yeah, is it not top did. left? I don't know. I would have gotten that. It, wrong it well. doesn't doesn't matter what you say. I'm going to get it wrong next time I try to build it. So. <laughs> I'll set that up now. Someone <laughs> someone gave me like a, a little thing to help me remember, and I forgot their little thing. Yeah. See, it's it's virtually impossible. So don't worry about it. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> so, yeah. So power's good, up to about 130 me uh, megawatts. Until we, um... Well, I gotta put down 2800 solar panels altogether, and I don't really want to take the time to do that right this second. I'm putting down more, but there's like... I think we're gonna end up with like a... Maybe about a thousand. So we're good up to like 60 megawatts right now of sustained power. Which oh, is no, about I've what gone, we're running. I've got an odd number of underground belts. What's happened? 
the horror. <laughs> That's one thing that doesn't really bug me that much anymore. Why? I don't know. I, I just don't see why it should bug me. As long as the factory's running. It's so annoying it means... you can't do anything with it. you got to put it in a box and oh blow dear it up. Lord. All <laughs> of the logistics parts. What have you done, mangled pork? Um, oh, I, made, I used millions of gears. That's what it was. I helped. Oh, did you put the, the underground belt in? Yes. I don't even see where you are. Oh, there you are. How are you hiding there? How did I not see <laughs> Literally you? Literally just stood right next to you. <laughs> a, I'm so used to people doing things with long reach now that I expect to have to, like, zoom right out and look for them whenever they do something. <laughs> That's oh, man. Well, that gave me quite the chuckle, I must confess. <laughs> right. Well, um, I guess Sorry. I guess it's uh, time already. Amazingly. Yeah. Oh wow. What? Re oh my lord! Yeah. Not joking. Either. How? Wow. Yeah. How? How is it possible? But yes, it is. I, I genuinely was expecting that to be a lie. I'm very shocked. Because I lie very... so frequently. It's true. It's. Uh, you've just we decided something. not to use warehousing mod, didn't we? Yes. Yes. It makes me sad. Was you like that decided it? Did I? No, I think it was <laughs> it was it was Evac. Evac who didn't want to use it because it was too big of a change from vanilla. Wasn't it? Maybe I'm wrong. Um, sure. I, I was, was a... asking about it and whether it was gonna be a change, and then you said yeah, it does change quite a lot, and then the conversation ended. Hmm. So you're taking the blame then? Um no, I'm saying that you're a filthy liar. Okay. Fair enough. Specifically a filthy one. Oh, as long right. as we're clear. Okay, well, we're going to wrap it up here then. We'll be back same time, same place tomorrow. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Take care, everyone. I got concrete done just in time. Goodbye. <laughs>